as we knew that we can't just generate analog voltage using MOS microcontrollers. To generate variable output, we usually use the PWM, which stands for Pulse Weight Modulation, which works for most things, but of course not everything. Sometimes we really need the true analog voltage, like when we have to give input to certain circuits. One of the solutions to do that is using DAC, or Digital to Analog Converter. So in this video, we will learn how to generate true analog voltage using MCP4725 DIC module. And let's see the result. This is the MCP4725 DIC module. DIC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. This module has ability to generate true analog voltage. Before we start using this, let's read the datasheet first. Ok, so this is the datasheet of MCP4725. It is 12-bit digital to analog converter. So yes, it has 12 bit of resolution, which is great. We have steps from 0 to 4095 or 4096 steps. It has also a PROM, so we can save the last value we use, and it has single supply operation from 2.7V to 5.5V, which is great for most microcontroller or microprocessor. It can be used on ESP8266 or Raspberry Pi since 3.3 volt is inside this range and of course the Arduino because the Arduino uses the 5 volt and of course it uses the I2C interface and there are so many examples of the application like set point or offset trimming sensor calibration closed loop servo control and many more so I think that's it, the most important feature of this module. If we use Arduino, the maximum voltage output is 5V. Since the voltage reference is 5V, so 4096 would mean 5V and 0 would mean 0V. So if we want to generate an output of 2.5V for example, we need to find the middle value of this range, so it will be around 2048. And you can find any value using this simple formula. The voltage times 4096 divided by 5. 5 is the voltage reference. So this formula also applies to 3.3 volt. Only need to change the voltage reference. If you use an ASP8266 board, which usually only has 3.3 volt power. So let's get started. First, you need to solder the board, then you can simply hook it up to Arduino. Since it has an I2C communication protocol, as usual, we just need to connect the SDA to A4 and SCL to A5. I used the 5V as a VCC. I also hook up a multimeter to the output of the module to measure the DAC result. Ok, so this is the simple example program to generate the analog voltage using this MCP4725. But if you are first time, you need to download the library first. You can download from library manager. Ok, so you, you need to search the MCP4725 and yeah, I use the 
add a fruit MCP so you can select the version and then just click install okay it's done so this is the example this is the library I included and we create the object for the MCP then this is the resolution you can change the resolution to 9, 8, 7, 6 or 5 but the best is the 9 9 is the best accuracy okay then we begin the DAC and the default address of the I square C is 60 hexadecimal if you are not sure about the address you can scan your address by using the I square C scanner link for the sketch in the description below and you will get the address in the serial monitor like this for example by the way if you are very new Arduino and have no idea about this all you can take my Arduino basic course link in the description below let's continue okay and this is the most important part so to generate the analog voltage just like I said before we can give the value from 0 to 4096 and to make it easier we can just use this formula so this is the voltage we want to generate for example I want to generate 1 volt so I use 1 volt times the resolution and divided by 5 this is the voltage reference okay so to generate 1 volt you just need to type this so now we just need to upload this code this is the result for 1 volt 3 volt and 4 volt maybe you notice that the result is slightly inaccurate this is caused by the voltage reference that is not 5 volt when I measure the Arduino power voltage it is just about 4.94 volt so to make the result accurate you can change the multiplier or the divider just remember that the maximum result should be not more than 4096 so for example I change this divider to 4.9 you can do your own experiment to get most accuracy on your hardware and this is the result for 1 volt 2.5 volt 3 volt and 4 volt that's more accurate right and more than this using this library you can generate the sinus wave just open this example file just don't forget to change the i square c address this is the result on an oscilloscope and you can also generate the triangle wave using the triangle wave example file and again don't forget the address cool right now how to use this on an ESP board like not MSU we can use the same way just follow this wiring diagram and on the code we should change the voltage reference to 3.3 volt just like what I said earlier in this video and this is the result for 1 volt and 2.5 volt so that's it thanks for watching consider to support me by joining this channel or just hit that subscribe button and ring the bell see ya